Okay, welcome back. So this time I will talk about a problem from the China mathematical competition. The in particular this problem we have we must find the real solution of this polynomial equation. We have a very large power x to the power of 2006 plus 1 times the summation 1 plus x squared plus x power of 4 up to x power of 2004. These are even powers and equal to 2006 times x power of 2005. This may be from the year 2006 maybe the China mathematical competition. So now to let us try to solve this problem. You might want to try to solve this by yourself first before seeing the solution but one hint is that you should not use the geometric series formula as you, as we can see on the left hand side we have a summation right up to 2004 power of 2004 that is a geometric series and you shouldn't use use the formula to to simplify the summation because it doesn't make the problem easier so you should do it in another way now what I do is just I expand I expand the left hand side this shouldn't be difficult so I just multiply each term of the of the first term in the left hand side to the second term so x power of 2006 times all this summation we have this power of 2008 and then power of 2010 and up to until x x to the power of 4010 and then for for the second term of the from the first term of the left hand side 1 multiplied by all the summation we have this summation we just copy the second term of the left hand side just like this okay so you might have another way to solve this problem but so this is equal to 2006 times x power of 2005 and well from here I can just divide both sides by x to the power of 2005 but of course we must be careful here we can do this if if x is positive, if x power of 2005 is positive, positive. so we can do this if the x power of 2005 is positive so so uh, well I will explain later why we can do this because x will, will be positive must be positive so if we divide by x power of 2005 we get this summation that should be easy to verify and then we have x power of minus 2005 plus x power of minus 2003 and so on until x x to the power of minus 3 plus x power of minus 1 and okay so now we start to see a pattern here we start to see a pattern and of course I have to write this equal to 2006 first and we have a pattern here as you can see and of course I have to explain why this is allowed because we can see from the equation itself x power of 2006 plus 1 this will always be positive no matter what values of x because 2006 
is even, even power. And also the summation, all the powers are even, so it must be positive. So the right hand side must also be positive. They cannot be zero, so and so we have that x must be positive. So we are allowed to divide by x power of 2005 because we know that the solution must be positive. And the pattern here we have this and this we pair we pair these two terms and then also the x and the 1 over x we pair these okay so we have x plus 1 over x plus x cube plus 1 over x cube now this started to look more nice more workable the equation until up to x power of 2005 1 over x power of 2005 and of course write again equals to 2006 because this problem is from 2006 I presume and then so now to solve this equation, I will use a very simple inequality, elementary one, that is involving square numbers, that we have x minus 1 squared. For any number x, this will be non-negative. That is very elementary. Expanding, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1 non-negative and then we have x squared plus 1 is bigger than or equal to 2x and since we know that the x is positive so we can divide by x to get this inequality and the left hand side of this inequality is exactly each term of in our equation each pair in our equation okay this this is allowed because x is positive and then now now I use this inequality and notice that equality is attained that is x plus 1 over x equals to only if x is equal to 1 that is easy to verify we just use the x minus 1 squared non negative, right? And now we use the inequality into this left hand side. So each of these is bigger than or equal to 2 because x cubed also, it also applies because we, we just, we, we can just change the x variable here with any other variable for example x power of n we can change x with x power of n and this inequality will also apply for any variable so we just treat x power of n as another variable right so so each of them each of the but by also pay attention that x must be positive x power of n is positive right so each of these pair is bigger than or equal to 2 and so we must have that the left hand side let me just write it here so to to be clear first that we can use any variable including x power of n instead of x so okay go back to this equation and So the left hand side, all of this, in total, the sum is bigger than or equal to multiple of 2, that is 2 times 1003, because we have 1003 pairs, that is easy to check, so it is equal to 2006. So the left hand side is always bigger than or equal to 2006. Now that help us to solve this problem, because we want the left hand side to be equal to 2006, so we must have 
equality instead of inequality so so the we can attain the equality that is each of the pair equals to two when we will get that when when each of the pair that is x that is when each of the pair x power of n plus 1 over x power of n equals 2 and this is attained when x power of n is equal to 1 and since x is positive so we must have that x is equal to 1 so the solution of this equation polynomial from the china mathematical competition is just only one solution that is x equals to 1